on vacation and returned home to find this toxic waste covering her front yard. Well, I was horrified. It has a, um, a hazard warning sign on it. When Kate Campbell called the city for help, she says she couldn't get a straight answer about what to do. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Natomas tonight. She's getting answers on what can you do if this happens to you, Macy? Tony and Adrian Kate Campbell came home from vacation to find different chemicals all over her lawn, like this blue latex paint. But when she called the city and police, neither one could give her the right answer about what to do. Premium hydraulic oil. Kate Campbell came home after her Tahoe vacation to find this on her lawn. Well, I was horrified. It has a, um, a hazard warning sign on it. Buckets full of metalworking fluid concentrate and blue latex paint splattered on her fence and grass. That was about six weeks ago. I've taken um, a, a lot of the, the planting that was here out. And yesterday it happened again. Um, I did not see who did it. I don't have a description of a vehicle. I don't know. I can't describe any persons. Campbell says it left her furious, so she called the non emergency Sacramento police line and says their response took her by surprise. If it's on my property, it's my problem. She says they suggested she take the buckets out to the hazardous waste facility on Bradshaw, 25 miles away from her home. Haul it 50 miles, pay the fee. And there's really nothing we can do for you. So then she called the Sacramento County's 311 line. They said, well, you live in the city, we can't help you. I called the city, they said, well, that's not something, a service we provide, we can't help you. So we reached out to several city departments to find out what you can do if this happens to you. The Department of Public Works says they can only collect waste on public property. Sacramento police say with no evidence, a criminal investigation would be limited. And the city's code enforcement department says dumping on private property is not a violation of city code. This is going to cost me literally thousands of dollars. And now Campbell says she plans to invest in her own security system just in case it happens a third time. And if you go to the city's website, there's something called a waste wizard. You can type in the item you're trying to get rid of and they'll tell you exactly how to do it. But when I typed in toxic waste or hazardous waste, nothing came up. Frustrating to say the least, no doubt, Macy. Wow. We'll follow up and see what happens. Thanks for that. New at six supporters on proposition.